Okay. So, I'm going to do a little, um, review for Human Centipede Part 2. And I'm also going to kind of review Serbian film within this interview, or interview, shit, I'm stupid, within this review. And I'm going to kind of compare the two. And we're just going to have a good time. Alright, so, you know that feeling when you're getting your dick sucked by a prostitute and your patient walks up to the guy who's in the front seat, shoots him, prostitute runs out, dude's got a gun, and you don't freak out, even though you know he's mentally retarded because he's your patient. Yeah, that's about the feeling I got while watching this movie. And yes, that is a scene from the movie. And yes, this movie is fucking retarded. Like, I have so many problems with this movie, it's not even funny. Uh, I'll try to name them all quick. I don't want to take up too much time by going on tangents like I am now. Um, so, first of all, this director is stroking his own dick throughout the whole movie. Tom Six, I think his name is. Um, he's like, oh my god, Human Centipede 1 is like the most disturbing movie of all time. When really, I'd probably put it under Saw, even, like the first Human Centipede. Just because Saw, I mean, Saw has some crazy crap. Like Saw 4, the rack, I think it's what it's called, when it breaks all his bones and snaps his neck. Dude, that one messed me up. Like, so, Human Centipede 1 was like nothing. The worst part about it was the fact that it lasted so long. I mean, that scared me more than anything. Um, and he direct... I think he directly challenges a Serbian film, kind of. Because a Serbian film, when people think of that, they think of the baby scene. Oh my god, did you see the baby scene? And this movie just had to have a baby scene. And it did it horribly. And god, this movie is stupid on all sorts of levels. First of all, he wraps up like, what, 11 or 12 people in duct tape, and I believe he keeps them there for days. Days of squirming and moving, the, the duct tape's gonna come loose. Like, I hope you guys seriously don't do this shit, because it's stupid and it's shit. Um, the story, if there is one, is stupid. Like, like, there are times when he's just trying, the director's just trying to be like, oh my god, this is disgusting. You think it, I think it, we all think it, it is disgusting. Like, he jacks off with some sandpaper, you don't even see it. You're like, what's the point? Okay. I mean, I've jacked off to worse stuff, you know, than the human centipede, so, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, but anyway, oh. Uh, okay. So, jacking off with sandpaper, all that stuff. Um, the flashback when he's a baby. He has a flashback when he's a baby. You know, when you don't even have memories? And he's crying, and his dad's like, Stop your crying, Martin, because I'm making daddy hard. And I'm like, what? Like, I, I actually bursted out laughing at that scene. Because it's so pointless. Okay, so his dad raped him. I mean, I've known people in real life whose dad raped them, and I never remember them telling me about a time when their dad was, like, open about it, like, that open about it. Like, you know, it just kind of happened. It sucked. Okay, he went on living life normally. Hope he dies and rots in hell. But, but then again, I don't believe in hell, so, you know. Ooh. But, um... So yeah, like, that movie gave me cancer a little bit. Uh, there's a few scenes I want to talk about. This might turn into a long review. Um, might even cut it up, make Serbian film a different review, then make the comparison a different review just because I'm going on so many tangents, because it's what I love to do. And if you don't like it, then I, man, I don't know what to tell you. Um, so, okay. What scene do I want to talk about, really? Okay, the scene with his mom is just stupid. Like, all his mom scenes are just stupid. Because we're supposed to believe that his mom hates him so much that he she, she wants him dead. 
and like he's fucking retarded. I, I don't know. Like something about just the relationship between his mom and him, uh, I just don't like. Like it's not even that it's disturbing. Oh my god, you know. No, I don't care about that. Um, I just seriously hate everything about that movie. Like, there might have been one or two scenes that I was like, oh, hey, that's kind of cool. But, no, or, oh, yeah. And the fact that it was in black and white seriously gave me cancer. Like, I'm probably going to be dead within the next two months because of that black and white shit. Didn't even make any sense. Like... It's a gore film. There is no reason to watch this movie besides just masturbating to gore, pretty much, you know? Like, there's no story. There's no character development at all. Like, Martin doesn't even say a word. Do saying, I don't like that, that was interesting, kind of. But I am saying that it's stupid <laughs> for this movie because... No character development. I thought in the first Human Centipede, which is also hideously terrible in the fact that so many people freaked out about it. Um, I mean, Hostel is worse than the first Human Centipede. Hostel's worse than this Human Centipede. Hostel is a pretty awesome movie. Anyway, um, so okay. First Human Centipede, the doctor guy, he was kind of cool. Just as a character. I mean, I wouldn't, you know, go have a beer with him. But as a character, he was kind of cool. Martin, no. No, no, no. No. Uh, and they're going to do a third one. And it's going to suck ass. Just because this one sucked so much more ass than the last one. Huh, no pun intended, because, you know, they're connected. Like, have you seen the movie? Like, you know what I'm talking about? They're connected. Like, do you understand this joke? Okay. Um... So, God, that movie. Okay, one scene that I really need to talk about, though. Or just one loophole, among many. Actually, one loophole I'll say right now. So this guy, over the course of days, is, like, knocking out people in the same garage, on video camera, nothing's investigated. Like, do you understand how stupid this is? Anyway, um, the baby scene. Oh, God, the baby scene. I, I read a review somewhere that the final like 10 minutes or 20 minutes of the film would have Marquis decide throwing up in his seat nigga you dumb like that's all I gotta say like it had me laughing the baby scene was so funny I seriously I seriously laughed okay Serbian film has a baby scene I'll talk about that more in the comparison but this baby scene was laughable I'll tell you what happened chicks giving birth to a baby. Should also be mentioned that this chick is not tied down to anything. So why she doesn't try to help is beyond me. I mean, I understand the fact that you might, you know, want to, you know, not help because you're in pain because of childbirth. But the fact that this nigga sewing people well, stapling people, mouth to ass, and making a 12 people centipede when it didn't even work with three people, so this retard thinks that it's going to work with 12 people. Anyway, I mean, you'd want to help at that point. Like, even if you're going through the worst childbirth of your life, you're going to want to help. Because you're fucking human, and you want to help other humans. If anything, you'd want to escape. But no, this nigga waits until she is giving birth. And then tries to leave. And she's like squirting out blood when she's giving birth. Which is interesting, uh, I guess. I mean, I don't know, but I don't think it, there'd be as much blood and all that stuff. I don't know. Um, and then, okay, so she gives birth in the car. And the baby like falls under the, um, the gas pedal. And she puts it in reverse and just squishes the hell out of that baby. And I laughed. I laughed my ass off at everything about that. Like, I understand survival instincts and all. And you want to get out of there. But you also have mother instincts. And you're probably going to want to put the baby over your own instincts. I don't know. And if not, she deserved 
you know, to get killed. Um, so anyway, another thing that I really thought was stupid. He was trying to get all the actors from the first one in on the centipede. And I believe it was a Quentin Tarantino film that he said he was going to audition them for. When he doesn't even talk in the first place. And when he laughs, he sounds fucking retarded. So, okay, I don't know the industry. I don't know the acting industry. But we're supposed to believe that I, just some random Joe, could say, hey, um, let's say Brad Pitt, because he's fucking sexy. Okay, Brad Pitt, I have a film for you, um, Quentin Tarantino wants to do. You want to come to my house alone and we'll audition for it? I mean, I think there would be some background searches done for that. I think they would actually talk to the director, maybe. I don't know. I don't know the industry. So I might just be sounding like an asshole right now. I might be sounding like an asshole through this whole thing. And if you really want to hate, you can comment and I will kill myself and I will post the video online through ghost form. And it will be badass and I will make sure that you all love it. It will go on YouTube first, then it will go on Best Gore and Gorgrish and all those other sites. Um, because it will be taken off YouTube. But anyway, okay. So, I think there'd be a lot more research done than there was. They're, they're not just going to send this actress off to this random asshole. There was so much wrong with this movie. Like, I don't know. I think I lost a few years off my life just watching that movie just because it was so stupid. Like, I could compare it to Jersey Shore in a way. Because they're both pointless. And... They're both way too long. This movie was way too long. And a lot of people are probably actually freaking out about this movie. When in reality, it is stupid, horrible effects, black and white, which just gave me a headache, and a gore film, for God's sake. If you want to be artistic, then you probably shouldn't be doing a gore film. And if you are doing a gore film and being artistic, don't just make it black and white to be artistic, you stupid dumb fuck. Really, I hope this director just doesn't direct again. You know, maybe he'll connect his ass to the asshole of someone else. Um, I don't care. I just don't want to see another film by this god-awful director. Um, oh yeah, and I loved the trailer for The Human Centipede 2 when he's like, you know, people have said that I am crazy and a monster for making the Human Centipede 1, but I have to say that Human Centipede 2 is going to be 10,000 times better because I'm fucking retarded. Like, really? Like, really? It's, it's worth that much? Like, you just want to make a movie to offend people? And it wasn't even offensive? God, you fail at life. Um... God bless that movie. All right, uh, I'll do another one for a Serbian film. Hope you enjoyed. You probably didn't even listen to the whole thing too long. Didn't listen, you know. I feel you. I didn't want to say it all. I didn't want it to last this long. Uh, but you know, it's those tangents. It's those tangents that I just keep doing that really extends the length of this movie. And I mean, I don't know. I should probably stop doing all these tangents. But I mean. I want you to have more information, you know. I think it's important for you to understand exactly what I'm thinking about this movie. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of like getting...